friends, it's Maura Esther. And today I am so excited to be talking about a very special holiday coming up. Do you know what it is? That's right, it's Rosh Hashanah. Almost time to dip our apples in our honey and eat round challah and go to shul. Wow, I am so excited. So the first thing I want to show you is my picture book. This book is called, Can You Find It? It's all about Yom Tov. And Rosh Hashanah is one of the special Yom Tovim. So let's open it up and see what we have. Wow, this is so fun. This page is all about Rosh Hashanah. It says, can you find those Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur objects? So, let's see. One Moxer. Can you find the one Moxer? Very good, you found it. It's right there. Two round chalas. Can you find the round chalas? Hooray, you did it. One, two, three dishes of honey. Can you find three dishes of honey? That's right. Let's see. One, two, and three. Four shifers. Can you find four shifers in this book? Let's see. Can you find four shifers? One, two, three, and the last one, four. Very good. Let's find seven apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We did it. We found seven apples. Wow, friends, that is so fun. We found all the pictures in our Can You Find It Yomto book. Thank you for reading that with me. Well, now that we looked through our book and we found all the different things that we do on Rosh Hashanah, I want to talk to you a little bit about the things that we have on Rosh Hashanah. Okay, friends, I have some special cards in my hands and these cards are all the things that we do or the things that we eat on Rosh Hashanah. So, the first thing that we have on Rosh Hashanah is a round challah. Sometimes challahs look long or short or braided, but on Rosh Hashanah, we have special round challah. What's the next thing that we eat on Rosh Hashanah? Pomegranates. Oh my goodness, I love pomegranates so much. And do you see the seeds inside the pomegranate? There are so many seeds inside a pomegranate. Just like there are so many mitzvahs. 613 mitzvahs. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. How many mitzvahs do we have? That's right, 613. Just like the seeds in a pomegranate. And we want to do so many mitzvahs this year, right? Okay, what's next? What's this? A shifar? I love shifars. Shifars make a loud noise. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness. Why do we hear a shifar in Rosh Hashanah? Sometimes when it's morning time and we're super sleepy, it's hard for us to wake up, right? So we're sleeping in our beds. Shh. And then, do, do, do. Our alarm clock goes off and we stretch and we say, oh, good morning. I woke up because our alarm clock went ding, ding. Same thing is with the shifar. Sometimes we're sleepy and we're tired to do mitzvahs, or sometimes we need a reminder that it's time to do teshuva and to wake up and do all the mitzvahs that we can do. And a shifar reminds us of that. It wakes us up to do the right thing. The next thing we have is honey. I love honey so much. It's so sweet and delicious. And why do 
did we eat honey on Rosh Hashanah? Do you know why? Well, honey is so sweet. It does not taste bitter. It does not taste sour. It tastes sweet. So, just like on Rosh Hashanah, we want a sweet new year, right? Filled with sweet things. And we have an apple. On Rosh Hashanah, it's very special to eat apples dipped in honey. Can you pretend to dip an apple in honey with me? Take your apple and your honey and dip it inside. And now make a bracha. And now eat it. <gasps> Delicious! And the last thing more Esther has on her cards is a special book. Do you know what special book, what special safer we use to daven from on Rosh Hashanah? It's called a machzer. A machzer is a special sitter that we use to daven from with all the special tefillos, all the special prayers that we use to daven to Hashem. And we say, Hashem, please let us have a special year. Please let us have a happy year and a good year. And that's what we use on Rosh Hashanah. Okay, friends, now that we went over all our Rosh Hashanah cards, I would like to play a game with you. Are you ready? You're going to play a magic game with all my cards. All right, let's go. Okay, friends, let's make a match. We have our honey card. We have our Machser card, our pomegranate, Shifar, round challah, and red apple. Where's the match for the Shifar? Hmm, oh, there it is. Let's see. Where's the match to our machser? That's right, it's a match. Where is the match to our pomegranate? Hmm, it's red, but that's not the same. <gasps> we found it. Where's the match to our challah? Can you find it? Good work, you made a match. Now, where's the match to our red apple? Is that a match? No. Oh, you found it. There's the match. And the last card is our honey. Where's the honey? Oh, there it is. We made a match. Wow, great work. Okay, thank you, Rosh Hashanah cards. We'll see you later. Okay, friends, now I want to do something fun with you. Are you ready? I have three bowls here. Let's count together, okay? One, two, three. Three separate bowls. Inside my basket, I have three different items that all have to do with Rosh Hashanah. Do you want to see what's inside? Let's see. I have red pomegranates, green apples, and red apples. And now we have to separate them into the correct bowl. Would you like to organize these apples and pomegranates with me? Okay, I have my scooping spoon with me. Let's do it together. I want, hmm, the first thing I'm going to choose is, yeah, a green apple. Hmm, oh, here's one. Scoop, and I'm going to pour it into the bowl for green apples. Here we go. Okay, what's next? Red apples. Scoop it up and pour it into the bowl for red apples. Here we go. And now I'm going to find a pomegranate. This is a little bit tricky because pomegranates are the same color as apples, red apples. Red pomegranates and red apples. But right now I'm looking for a red pomegranate. I see one. Here we go. And I'm going to pour it inside. I did it. matches we made. A bowl of green apples, red apples, and 
pomegranates. That was so much fun. We separated all the apples into different bowls. That was so great. Okay, friends. Now, one of the things that we spoke about on Rosh Hashanah is that we hear a shofar blow. Do, 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 right? The shofar in the shul goes do, 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 do. The shofar in the shul goes do, do, do on Rosh Hashanah. So, friends, I want to tell you a little bit about the shofars that I have. Are you ready? I have three different sized shofars. Let's see. Hmm, I'm excited to show you. So, the first shofar that I have is really small. You see? It's pretty small. It's not a big shofar. It's a small one. Do, 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 do. That's a small shofar. I'm gonna put it right here. And the next shofar I have is medium. This is a medium-sized shofar. Do, 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 do. It makes a loud noise on Rosh Hashanah, right? So that's a medium shofar. I'm gonna put it right here, next to my small shofar. And the next shofar I have is so big. Are you ready to see it? Oh my goodness. Look at this long, big shofar. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, that is a big shofar. I don't even know if it's going to fit on my table, it's so big. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, shofar, don't go anywhere, stay right there. So, I have so many different types of shofars. A small one, a medium one, and a big one. Three size shofars, and they all make noise on Rosh Hashanah. Okay, friends. One of the last things we're going to talk about is something we do on Rosh Hashanah called Tashlich. Can you say Tashlich? Very good. Tashlich is when we go to the water or an ocean or river or a lake, maybe some dust or crumbs, and we throw it into the river, and those are going to be all the different things that we did this year that we might not be so proud of. And we take them and we throw them away and we say the only thing that we want in our pockets are mitzvahs. We only want the good things. Because we want Hashem to remember that we only did good and that we're going to try our very best this year. So, look what I have. I have a fish puzzle. Because inside the water are little fishies. And those fishies are gonna eat up all the different things that we did this year that we don't wanna keep. And the fishies are gonna eat them up and all those things are gonna go away. And Hashem is only going good things that we did. Let's make a match. So, I have a purple fish. Can you find the match for the purple fish? Mm. That's right! Very good! Next, I have a yellow fish. Can you find the match for the yellow fish? Very good, friends! All right, this is the color pink. That's right! Pink goes right here. The next fish I have is brown. This is the color brown. Can you find the match for the brown fish? Very good. The next color I have is red. Where does the red fish go? Hmm. Very good, right there. You found the match. This is a green fish. Where should the green fish go? There it is, very good. You made a match for the green fish. And here is my orange fish. Where should the orange fish swim? Swimming, swimming. That's right, friends. And the last fish that I have is the color blue. Where does the blue fish go? Very good. Wow, we made a match. That is so fun. Now, now that we made a match for all the fish colors, would you like to sing a fish song with me? All right, let's do it together.
One little fish, she's swimming in the sea. Along came another one, and then there were two. Two, two little fish, she's swimming in the sea. Along came another one, and then there were three. Three! Three little fish, she's swimming in the sea. Along came another one, and then there were four. That's right, four fishies. Swimming, swimming, swimming in the sea. That big old shark will never catch me. Swimming fishies. Four little fish, she's swimming in the sea. Along came another one, and then there were five. Six little fish, she's swimming in the sea. Along came another one, and then there were seven. Here we go, so many fishies. Swimming, swimming, swimming in the sea. That big old shark will never catch me. Here we go. Seven little seven fish, she's swimming in the sea. Along came another one. in our pockets. Let's count all the fishies on my puzzle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. Well, now I want to talk to you a little bit about what kind of fruits we eat on Rosh Hashanah. We eat apples. This is so delicious. But apple is not the only fruit we eat on Rosh Hashanah. We also eat a new special fruit. And this is a very special fruit. It looks really silly, right? It's so interesting. <gasps> it's kind of pokey. Hmm, I wonder what it tastes like. I'm only going to find out on Rosh Hashanah because we need to make a special bracha on a new fruit. That bracha is called Shehechianu. Can you say that with me? Shehechianu. Very good. So we eat a new fruit and apples, and we eat pomegranates. This is a very fun pomegranate. I wonder how many seeds are inside? Probably a lot. Thank you friends for joining me today. But before we go, I would love to sing a Rosh Hashanah song with you. Are you ready? Okay. Dip the apple in the honey, make a bracha loud and clear. Nishana Tova, Umetuka, have a good and sweet new year. Dip the apple in the honey, make a bracha loud and clear. Nishana Tova, Umetuka, have a good and sweet new year. Shehechianu, Vikiyamanu, Vikiyanu. Bye-bye.